We're going to be driving from Berwyn, Pennsylvania, which is about a half hour west of Philadelphia, into uh, Canada to buy uh, some medicine for my son, who suffers from alopecia areata. When he was in about seventh grade, he lost all of his hair and had worn hair pieces all throughout middle school and high school. Psychologically, um, it was really tough. Usually get up about five in the morning, brush my teeth, put my clothes on, and uh, get on the road. On an annual basis, the, the drug costs me about $15,000 in, in Canada. Um, in the United States, at where it's priced right now, it, it's about $47,000 a year. It's about a six and a half hour to seven hour drive, so to save almost $3,000 a month, it's, it's certainly worth the trip. All right, see you later, me too, bye bye. Uh, it was my son, uh, Jonathan, who I'm, we're going to get the medicine from. He's a, he's a sophomore at Penn State. He started on the medicine in March of 2016. By Christmas time, he had a full head of hair, and the difference in him was, was just fantastic from a psychological standpoint. Absolutely, he's in a much better place. From what I understand, it is technically illegal to get the medicine in Canada. As long as you're not purchasing it in bulk supply, they are fine with uh, Americans going over and, and purchasing medicine. <clears throat> are you bringing anything in with you today? Uh, no. Okay, you're all fine. Thank you. I need to get a uh, prescription from a Canadian doctor. You've arrived at your destination. So I actually found a, a doctor through the uh, Walmart where I buy the medicine for uh, $75 for, th for three months. We're on our way to Walmart, which is only about, was only about a half a mile away. Assuming Bank of America cooperates and they don't reject the charge, I should be in here in three, four minutes and out. Um, but uh, this is the fifth time I've done it and they re rejected the charge every time, even though I've told them when I'm coming, how much I'm spending and where I'm coming to. So, wish me luck. Okay, I'll be back. I've asked for the number of the fraud department. I, I called that and I got the wrong number. Now um, I'm talking to somebody who says that she can't do it, but she's, she's trying to figure out how she can help me. And so she put me in hold rather than transfer me. So. Well, finally success. Um, this is the contraband. This is 1,266 in Canada, uh, $3,808 in, uh, in the United States at this part time. Uh, Day free, US Peace Bridge, USA, Canada. Six hour drive, five hours and 55 minutes according to the ways. We're on our way home. Mission accomplished.